Michael Irvin here on the Rich Eisen Show. What would you think of Michael Thomas and the cell phone, the homage to Joe Horn with four minutes to go up 10? What do you think of that? Yeah, you know, now, now I enjoy creativity, but, but you were playing the Rams, and right there, that could have gotten scary because if the Rams, if, if they complete that one third down uh, and a fourth, fourth down, and, and if Cooks doesn't drop that fourth and two, you, you could be talking about an opportunity that you gave them to come back, you know. But I, I'm going to tell you something. That's a kid that we don't mention in the top five, top, top, the top receivers in this league, and Michael Thomas is certainly one of those guys. I know he had fun last night, and it all worked out. But don't slip on that kid. That's a bad boy playing receiver. Right no, there. I know he is. He is. I mean, what he's done is unbelievable. You know, when they traded Cooks, everyone was like, why? What are they doing? He's been remarkable. I, but you're just asking, I mean, why would you give the Rams down 10, a team that's already yeah. come back from 21 down, 15 extra yards after you've just put a dagger in him? And by the way, the smell of burnt toast with Marcus Peters from that kid yesterday was quite something. I mean, why would you do that? Yeah, and, and it's just, he, he, he had it set up in his mind, and, and, and he said, I know if I get this opportunity late in the game, I'm going to do it. And he got a great opportunity when he went 70 yards. That was a great opportunity. I understand. Be, be careful there. But he probably thought this game was over. You know, in his mind, he said, I, I saw the interview afterwards. He said, I waited late in the game, and thank God it, it worked out late in the game. So I, I knew once, once, he, once he was on his way, Rich, there's no way he was not going to do it after he had already put all those wheels into play. But, man, man, and that's another thing you brought up, too, Marcus Peters. Rich, you read a stat the other day that you were talking about. So, oh, they were reading a stat about how many 100-yard games I've had against Hall of Fame. Hall of Famers, you yes. know, and all of that stuff. We were talking about that in meetings. And, and I was thinking about this. The, uh, the shutdown corners that we have now in today's game, it's not like the shutdown corners we had then. Like now, these shutdown corners get benched. They get burned like we saw yesterday. They get benched like Josh Norman. It, it blows my mind. You never heard of Deion Sanders, Daryl Green, and Neil Swiss, Rod Woodson. You never heard of them guys getting benched or, or getting beat. That bad, unless they were playing me, of course. But you never heard from anybody else. That just blows my mind. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.